everybody how are you i hope you're doing well bear me hello everybody i hope you're doing well bear with me put on my fenty lip gloss uh today's video is gonna be a little bit of a challenge as you see i'm in a new environment spooky um i'm just kidding uh but it is a lot harder to film in different areas I have different lighting I'm working with, so I'm going to have a flash in my face this entire video. But you know what? We're working with it. We're going to do with what I have, and this has got to go. Okay. So anyway, the point of this video I wanted to be was basically to share my favorite skincare products. that I, I know it's a mess. Stop it. Don't come for me. <laughs> um, but these are some of my favorite skincare products and even some tools um that i currently use um and i always love recommendations please please let me know in the comments what you use and what you love depending on you know my skin type which i will share with you i did want this video to be you know i wanted my next video on my channel to be my skincare journey but that video means a lot to me and that's going to take a lot more time and effort and I didn't want to leave you guys waiting already. I did just start my channel, but I want to keep you guys intrigued and excited. I love this. I broke it off of my plant. My, it's a fake plant. I'm not a plant killer. But anyway. Oh no, I broke another piece. It was from Five Below. It's okay. Um... <laughs> That's probably going to bother me later. <laughs> Let's get started. I wanted to start off though because you saw in the thumbnail. I did go shopping. Um, and these are not all skincare products, literally. There's one skincare product in here. But I just wanted to share with you guys what I got since I did put it in the thumbnail. And I love unboxing. So that's some of my favorite YouTube videos to watch. I love watching reviews on products. And so that's what I'm going to be doing. So let's start with the only skincare product I got from Sephora. This guy here did say it was new. This is the Glam Glow Super Smooth Acne Clearing 5-Minute Master Scrub. So I'm very excited to um, say try it one more time. Say it. I dare you. <laughs> and also, some my most favorite brand at Sephora is the Brazilian, what is it, the Soul? I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm going to destroy it, okay? Um, I should have looked it up first, but you guys can look it up. This um, fragrance here is absolutely to die for if you love those summery, fun, like sweet coconut goodness scent. Sorry, my phone keeps going off and it's killing me but this one smells absolutely incredible this is the coconut cream and toasted praline creme de coco it's so good mm, i love it i sprayed it all over me at the store the ladies were looking at me like are you serious right now i will put up all my products back here so you can see them i did get my favorite brush cleaner makeup brush cleaner this is the cinema secrets if you guys haven't tried this it's incredible the smell is a little bit pungent but it's great and it works so good to clean your brushes i just like usually pour some on a washcloth and then kind of do that or i'll let them soak in it and it's great and besides that i do use oh my gosh you guys um, 70 i was watching this video over and noticed that you can so see part of my scalp in the, um, the entire video tight. so and please, i got a little please, mini because i'm going to be traveling to california it, soon i'm so excited to see my brother and i got a little mini Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. This is to die for. This is my everything. I love her. So we'll put her over there. I'm just going to throw her right in my suitcase. Um, <coughs> I don't know why I'm calling her her. <laughs> I have to do that for everything. So for Bath and Body Works, I had coupons. So I just wanted to show you guys really quick what I got from there. And review them for you. I got the Cinnamon Spice Vanilla Candle. It smells so good. I, I'm a sucker for winter, fall scents, and like all the holiday scents. And this smells like gingerbread to me. It's the closest I can get to holiday and still like pretend like I'm not wishing it was the holidays. Mmm, so yummy. So cute too. I love how simple the packaging is. Look how simple. Okay, 
she's cute we love her <laughs> they got a new scent too and i am not a huge person like a big person on bath and body Works smells i did a lot of research on fragrance and products and whatnot but i am so sorry this smells so good it feels good to be bad <laughs> this is their new scent it's the butterfly you guys gotta go try it oh my gosh this stuff smells so good i picked up the moisturizing body wash because it's on my body for like two seconds um and then i got the spray which i usually love to keep in my car just in case for like emergency sprays the other one is a delicacy she will be used like religiously she'll be taken to california because she smells like coconut yummy goodness Anyway, those are what I got, guys, from my shopping trip today. I just wanted to show you guys those. Um, I love new products, and I love trying new things. So, of course, if I ever try a new product, I will let you guys know, and I will keep doing updated skincare routines. But let's get into my actual skincare routine right now, shall we? Okay, so let's start with the first, the first. So usually to take my makeup off, I usually use like those little cotton rounds or I'll use baby wipes, um, you know, because my boyfriend always has them on hand. He's a dad. It's pretty great. <laughs> He's awesome. He always has baby wipes around and I don't know if that's the best thing necessarily, but they're always around. So usually I'll use those or I'll just go right in with my Dermalogica pre-cleanse. This is an oil-based cleanser used to remove makeup. And usually I'll just take off my lashes, soak them like in an oil or whatever, an eye makeup remover. And then I go straight in with this. And this is the best for pulling oil and dirt and makeup from your pores after a very long day. Um, we build up so much debris and gross things in our skin. It is absolutely necessary to double cleanse. So I start with this oil cleanser. Um, once I take my makeup off and however you take your makeup off, I won't judge you. As long as you're not pulling your skin okay <laughs> okay so we use the Dermalogica pre-cleanse as you can see it's worn out completely because I use it to fill like I it's always in the shower Dermalogica I spend a lot of money on you why are your words coming out? all right anyway let's set that to the side okay and then um this is a little mini guy I just tried from Drunk Elephant everybody always ranted and raved over this brand and I had tried a couple of their products in the past but I was never super impressed but I repurchased I got their little um I think it was like an overnight kit or whatever from Sephora they had like a little overnight kit I apologize I had change in the package but they had like this little container it's called like an overnight container or whatever but when you get to try a couple of their little minis products and this i absolutely adore this cleanser this is their jelly cleanser um purify and dissolve it has cantaloupe and glycerin um i enjoy it a lot i have very oily skin and it doesn't strip me of my oils because even though i'm oily i don't like to be dehydrated you know what I'm saying? I don't like to strip my skin of the natural oils and everything. And this does a great job at making me feel clean without, you know, leaving me like dry and rough. I could probably take my makeup off with the pre-cleanser, use this and still feel normal. Um, I am very oily and acne prone. And so the, neither none of their products broke me out. And none of the stuff you see here bro breaks me out. If you do see any breakouts, that is honestly just from probably makeup, stress, caffeine. Which I drink a lot of. And sugar. It happens. And genetics. You know. But yeah, that's my cleanser. I absolutely adore it. I'm trying to make my videos um, shorter for you guys too because I know we all have lives. My um, very first video was pretty long, but that was necessary. That was an introduction to my channel and I didn't want to leave anything out. Um, but I will try to make my other videos a lot shorter. I'll try to be as quick as I can for you guys, but I always have so much to talk about. Um this is my next product so i start with pre-cleanse then i cleanse so you always double cleanse especially if you're a makeup wearer or i'll come for you all right uh, and then i use my dermalogica this is the microfoliant this is also worn out i use it a lot um 
yeah dermatological once again i don't know how this rubs off but maybe because i have it in the shower but anyway this product is very very cool <laughs> Anyone I've recommended it to, they're like, Mariah, this product's a mess. And I'm like, yeah, but it's good, right? And it has a funky smell. So this is actually rice. So it's like very, very tiny little baby granules. I know that granule exfoliators are very controversial. But my skin does not look the same when I am not using this puppy. So they, you actually pour the little bit of powder into your hand like so. And then you put a couple little droplets of water in your hand, which I will demonstrate. Like I said, there's always either paper towel or baby wipes on hand. So you put a little water in your hand and then, okay, I didn't use enough, but it should be like a foamy texture, like a little foamy moment. Let me clean my hands up. and get it, you know, nice and um, foamy. I used quite a bit more than I just showed you guys, but I didn't want to waste product because this is a religious thing for me. You rub it in between your hands, make it all foamy, and then rub it in gently with your fingertips in circular motions. Depending on how much time I have, I usually like to do it as long as I can. Um, and it sloughs off all that dead skin at the end of the day. If you didn't remove all your dead skin and your oils with your cleansers, <sighs> apologize. Um, this will do the trick and it also makes my skin look so glowy. It does not tear the pores or tear your skin. If it does, you're using it wrong. <laughs> you're using it incorrectly, I'm telling you. I keep shaking the table. Gosh, dang, dang it, dang it, dang it. I'm so sorry. Let's move on. <laughs> okay, next. <coughs> so after I'm done exfoliating... This is usually a night thing. I'm kind of doing my nighttime routine after makeup. Um, I do all the same things in the morning, obviously minus the exfoliator. And depending on how much time I have, I don't do pre-cleanse. Um, and then I still do all the same oils and everything. But then I add a sunscreen and then makeup, obviously. And this guy, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, and so next, so exfoliator. Then I'd usually throw in a mask. Um, and so let's talk about it. I cannot wait to use that Glam Glow one, but this is my tried and true because I am an oily girl. So this is the Sebum Clearing Mask from Dermalogica. Sebum is just another word for oil. And this is the acne clearing line. I absolutely adore it. Some of the stuff is a little bit drying for my skin personally, but this mask in particular saves my life. It makes my skin look so clear. Literally, I will do my whole skincare routine tap my face dry i always use paper towel by the way to tap my face dry one of my good friends tati um who owns her own skincare line and her own um a uh, shop now actually her own spa i can link her and um plug her she is an amazing amazing esthetician um woman owned and she is doing amazing i'm proud of you baby she taught me that though because she taught me to use paper towel because cloths and um, towels can hold bacteria really well. So she taught me to use paper towel. So I'll pat dry. Always pat. You don't want to tug. We don't want to. No aging here. Okay. I got to make sure I look okay because I haven't checked myself. The girl probably looks a little oily. Can we never mind that? Keep the comments to yourself unless the good ones. Thank you. But anyway, I will throw this on. And this is another thing people don't know a lot about masks. Masks. <laughs> Apologize. I sound a lot better though, don't I? Um, you can use this just on spots. You do not have to use this all over your face. And you don't have to use so much of it. You can just use it. Like usually I get breakouts here in my T-zone. That's usually where I use it. And then on the jawline. You don't need to use it all over your face. I know that's usually like a fun thing we like to do. A full mask um, and it looks fun, but you don't have to do that. You can actually take like another hydrating mask. Like I, I don't have it with me, but I really love the Dermalogica Oatmeal Mask. Um, that one's hydrating. And sometimes I'll put that on the rest of my skin where it's more normal and there's less pores and oil. And you don't have to, you don't have to use every mask all over your face. You don't have to just use it on the spots you need it because first of all it's a waste of product a b you're drying out your entire skin because this is sucking out all the oils that's what it's meant to do 
So now you, we're just stripping our skin. And then see, this stuff is a lot of money, okay? We don't need to be, you know, we need this stuff to last. And usually you can tell how much you're, you know, this one I can use a little bit more extra. Kind of want a nice even layer on the skin. Um, the bottle's bigger. But if you see like a bottle that's smaller like pre-cleanse, this is what I think one of the biggest sizes it comes in. I think there's a bigger bottle. But you only need a little bit. You can usually tell by the size of the container. I mean, that's kind of how I play it. Um, okay, so after a mask, I would rinse clean and then pat dry again. And depending on how my skin is doing, I have one of my most favorite tools ever. She's broken. I dropped her. It's the, what is it? Miserve? Wait, Miserve? I don't know how to pronounce that. But this is my extractor. So let's look here. Oh, yeah, she's clean. I usually clean it with isopropyl alcohol. Once again, 70%. Um, when you turn it on. And I usually use the first setting, which is clean. I don't know if you can see. I'm blinded by the flash right now. But this guy, I take and I will gently push out the pores and clean it out. It's a nice little spatula. I adore this guy. It gets out all the, you know... Um, oil and dirt and sebum in my pores that I cannot get out with a mask um, or by with a scrub and so this guy is my tried and true so usually I'll pat dry and put like a toner or there is a product from Dermalogica it is the post or pre-extraction solution it's a gel you can mix it together put it on the skin and then extract with that and you have to be very cautious with these i usually would recommend them only to licensed estheticians because you know how to properly use it but if you trust yourself um you know go for it and if you watch videos maybe i'll make a video on that and show you guys actually me doing my routine um it's just gonna be more lengthy like i said i want to kind of incorporate that into my acne story but yeah, that is that guy. So depending, I'll do this maybe once every two weeks or, you know, whenever I think I need it. So I would do that and then rinse and pat dry again. Okay, and now I have my oils. So let's talk about oils. Because I know I kept saying, you know, that I'm oily. But it's it's kind of like you want to fight oil with oil. You <laughs> Don't fight fire with fire, but fight oil with oil. When I get extremely oily, I can usually tell it's either because of the climate the climate or um because i'm dehydrated so you produce more oil when you are dehydrated so if i am not drinking enough water or if i am not hydrating the skin enough and i keep stripping it with all these drying ingredients or ingredients with a lot of alcohol you can tell i'll be producing more oil so when you do strip your skin of oil or get rid of some oil add it back it's important and you know everybody's gonna react different to different products so i do not condone using everything i use especially in combination i suggest you experiment on your own and go and buy them and try them yourself i always suggest trying like mini size products um, they may not work for you, but these are what work for my acne prone oily skin. Um, so let's get into it. This is the Phyto Replenish Oil from Dermalogica. This is my the lightest oil I have here. So if I'm going to be using multiple oils, I always use the lightest one. This one is a very light consistency, light viscosity. Um, this one is for anti-aging. I absolutely adore it. Ladies, gentlemen. Fellas, everybody, ladies, we need to be using anti-aging products before we age, before we age, before we age. Did you hear me? Use anti-aging before you age. Good tip. We don't want to wait till we're aged. It's a lot harder to reverse all of the aging effects than it is to just prevent them. So wear your sunscreen and use anti-aging products. I absolutely adore this. I don't have my sunscreens around me because I have some in my makeup and so I've been using those a lot. But that's a big no-no. I usually suggest using both. Do SPF and if you have makeup with SPF, add that. Because throughout the day it wears out. Um, it stops working. Um, and then I have the Haitian Black Castor Oil. This is in Mango. What is it? Mango, Guava. What is this? I love Guava things. What is this? I can't see papaya oh sorry mango papaya and coconut 
Um, this is an oil for your hair and skin. I absolutely adore this. I just got it at Ulta. This retailed $20. It was so worth it. This one is a way higher viscosity, but I use it all over the skin after that oil. Um, and I use it in my hair when it's dry, like at the ends. This is fake hair, obviously. You already know. But I do use it um, in my natural hair to help it grow. It makes it shiny. It makes my skin feel so good and look so hydrated. And it's not sticky and it doesn't smell bad and it's just incredible and some castor oils i've used were so thick in texture i just hated it this one is a lot lighter in viscosity as well so i like to use that in my eyelashes my hair and then i put some on the neck and chest that's another big tip for you guys put your products especially anti-aging on the neck and the chest the reason why is because these these um areas are also the most exposed to the sun other than your face and these areas are not always protected enough and a lot of times we neglect to put skincare on them or lotion or never me but <laughs> no i'm just kidding or a sunscreen or things like that a lot of times we're so worried about our faces we forget about how important our necks and our chests are and i'm sorry but i want my face neck and chest to match as i age the next one I have is just a little marula oil. Um, it's just like the one from Drunk Elephant. They're both just 100% marula oil. Here, I use that one when I'm feeling a little extra dry as like a filler maybe. I don't always use all three together. I kind of pick and choose how I'm feeling and how my skin's doing based on where I'm at. And another thing I wanted to add in is this moisturizer my friend Ashley told me to try. Thank you, Ashley, because I did have um, the polypeptide moisturizer from the, uh, Drunk Elephant. Once again, this brand I was speaking about, and it it's very good. It's amazing. The peptides are so good for your skin and anti-aging, but... It's just a little a little costly and you know i'm not huge on moisturizers because i use oils and i'm an oily girl so i only use like a little bit of moisturizer so i ended up getting this one it's the natural moisturizing factors plus ha which is hyaluronic acid now hyaluronic acid is naturally created in the body but sometimes we don't have enough and this just is another anti-aging ingredient it's a hydrating ingredient it helps you hold all the moisture in your skin and i have all these other oils and things i can add to it to add extra you know um factors to it extra ingredients you don't need to just buy the most expensive moisturizers you can buy your own things to add to them and there you go. And there's, I believe there's no fragrance or anything like that. You can always check me. Um, but it's incredible and you get a lot for your money. This was only $12, $12.90 or something. Um, and so I'll add my oils to this or use it alone, depending on how I'm feeling once again. And I absolutely love it. Thank you, Ashley, for recommending that. Speaking of friends recommending things, you guys, I forgot about my toner. I use my toner after my exfoliator usually. The Dermalogica multi-active toner. Super simple. Everybody knows that. What toners do, I'm so sorry, by the way, I just jumped, but I usually will do my cleansers and then exfoliate. And if I'm not doing a mask, tone, oil, moisturize. And what toners do is they help rebalance your pH of your skin. We have a natural pH of our skin. The natural pH of our skin is 5.5. It is slightly acidic. And to rebalance that out to make sure your skin is acting normally and producing enough oil, not too much, and it's not too dry, you apply toner. And you can also spray it on a cotton pad and get all the residual makeup or dirt that you didn't get um, from your cleanser. Okay, so now that I interrupted my friend's recommendations, I'm so sorry, let's go back to that. So my friend Miranda I mentioned in the previous video, she's always giving me ideas and giving me products as well. This is what I love about girls in the beauty community. She's a co cosmetologist. She's going to school. I'm rooting for you, baby. Um, she, like, one day she was wearing a little 
pimple patch, right? And I didn't realize the whole time we were sitting um, at dinner. And at the end of it, I'm like, what is on your chin? It was one of these little pimple patches. And let me tell you, these work incredibly. So you put it on dry, clean skin over a pimple. And it will suck out whatever oil or pus. Ugh, sorry, it's gross. It's a gross word. Whatever's in the contents of the pimple, it'll suck it out. You can wear it all day. You can wear it with makeup or without and it's highly undetectable because I barely noticed she was wearing it to the end of dinner, um, which is wild, and different lighting. But they're just these little stickers. I'm, I'm not out of them. There's some over there. But they're little, like, circle stickers, and you apply them to the skin. And these have been a lifesaver for me. I love them. Thanks, Rance. You're the best. And... <laughs> Um, to finish it off, I just have some other fun goodie products that I like to use. I am a, I used to be an avid um, sun tanner in the tanning booths, which is so, so not good for the skin. And now that I'm a licensed esthetician, I cannot condone tanning in a tanning booth or tanning in general, which I'm going to California, guys. But I will be covered and I will be fake tanning most of the time. So I'll show you all my fake tanning products. <laughs> fake okay <laughs> anyway this is my self tanner i use it's the instant sun from it's jergens i get it at kroger strange sure yes it's cheap but it works really good i have it all over my body right now it usually doesn't get streaky depending on your application usually it's a user error if it doesn't look good um i recommend looking up videos on how to apply it but it's a foam and i adore it and i put it on you can layer it up, um, and depending on how you apply it, it looks flawless. Um, and then I like, I just got some of these drops too, the anti-pollution sunshine drops um, from Drunk Elephant once again. Hello guys, how you doing? I love y'all. Um, these also have peptides in them. See, I'm getting peptides from this. So I'll even wear them sometimes at night because I just don't want to look like I'm dead. And, you know, I get in bed with my boyfriend and I'm like, I want to look a little glowy. I want to have a glow. And I don't think it's necessarily bad for your skin. But, um, I will just put one little drop of these guys in an oil. Um, or I'll combine it with this, which is my other favorite product. This is from Clinique. This is the Dramatically Different Moisturizing BB Gel. And I told you guys previously I used to work for them. And this product, I have never, this has never left my side ever since I left the counter. This is a tinted moisturizer. Basically, that's all it is. They have little inserts that you can insert a serum in it. But I just like bought the bottle on its own and I use it by itself because I have so many other products. I don't want to mix too much. That's another good skincare tip. Don't mix too many products together or ingredients because it will irritate your skin no matter if you have sensitive skin or not. But this will give you a slight beige tint to your skin. If you are super um, fair skinned, it may not look as good. Um, I would recommend maybe trying these in a very small amount or using a little bit of this, um, mixing it. But um, if you're very fair, be careful with this. And if you are darker, like darker than my skin tone even, um, it's going to look a little bit pale. Um, but I wonder, I haven't worked there for so long. I wonder if they've changed that up at all. But this product will give you kind of a nice glow an even little tan glow to the skin. And if you have any blemishes like I often do or any little red spots, it'll correct all of that. And it's beautiful. Um, so I love that product. I'm all for versatility too. I wish they would make it like a more shades of that because it's a very light airy texture it's not sticky it blends right in with the skin and it's absolutely stunning so I'd like to see more versatility Clinique in this product which they're always getting you know <laughs> attacked about but hey they're doing their best all right we'll see I that's what I asked for versatility in the dramatically different BB Jill cream okay and then these two guys and last but not least this is this is the cup of coffee um mask and scrub from lush i love lush they have all natural vegan cruelty free products and they're usually made from all pure ingredients and i love i love lush if you just walk in there the smell is just mm, it's just so good it's it smells like fresh um but this is what it looks like 
Ooh, it looks a little gross. Icky, but it is a gritty texture. This one helps basically just exfoliate. You leave it on for 15 minutes and then you rinse off with warm water, massage as you go. So it's like a nice exfoliating, clarifying mask and scrub. I love a mask and scrub combo, if you couldn't tell, like with the Glam Glow. And then I had in here, because I talked about it in my last video, the Grande Lash MD. This is the Lash Growth Serum. I highly, highly recommend this if you're trying to grow your lashes. Um, they also made, I believe, like a lip plumper. They made stuff for your hair and your brows. And I adore this stuff. It actually really does work. So I say give it a try, but you do have to use it religiously morning and night and I add it I add this to my skincare routine morning and morning or night whatever when I remember so that I remember to wear it because otherwise if you're not using it religiously it's just not gonna work you know what I'm saying um I talk a lot maybe it's time to uh, reapply the lip gloss shall we this is heat not what does this say I am so blinded. Fenty Glow Heat Plumping Lip Gloss. Thanks, Rihanna. It's a little special. Mm. My lips get so dry while I'm talking. Uh, anyway. So I believe that completes this video. I almost fell. <laughs> I believe that completes this video. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like and comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Feel free to give me product recommendations, products you'd like me to try or review as a licensed esthetician because I'm huge on ingredients usually. Um, I give them a little bit of slack for fragrance because I do love my fragrance, but that's just me. Um, but if there's anything you would like to see me do or, you know, any video suggestions you have, please let me know in the comments and please like it. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Hopefully it'll be in my acne journey. It's just like I said, I want that to be a heart and long video, heartfelt and long video. It's going to take me a while to film and edit and put in every little piece of my heart into it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one for... I hope you guys enjoyed this one for now. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye!